I'm now going to demonstrate the Auto RCD test sequence feature on the DL9118 multifunction tester. I'm going to rotate the dial clockwise to position 3, labelled Auto. I'll just run you through the function keys from top to bottom. On the Auto test, function key doesn't have any function whatsoever. Function 2 enables me to change the type of RCD. So from AC to selective or time delayed, DC sensitive with or without time delay, or selective back to AC. Function 3 is a recall option. So on the auto test, the test sequences are saved as you perform the test. From pressing function 3, you can then recall the information that's been saved on the instrument. Function 4 is the RCD value. So in automatic mode, I've got a range from 10 milliamps, 30 milliamps, to 100 milliamps. But for this test, I'm going to have the instrument set to 30 milliamps. So we're going to be performing the test on a socket, 13 amp socket, using the mains lead 3 wire adapter. And I'm going to plug all three leads into the top. So ready to red, ready to green, black into black. I'll then plug that into the socket I'm performing the test on. When mains is applied, the test will automatically carry out polarity tests, so it will make sure that live neutral and earth are wired correctly. I'll then press the test button, the test sequence will then begin. At the end of each test, or the, at the end of the sequence, the results are stored automatically, so I've reset the RCD throughout the tests. So now I have a recall symbol displayed on my instrument. From here, by pressing function 3, I can go through the test at zero, at half the current, press F3 again, 180 degrees, at half the current, zero degrees at one times the current, 54 milliseconds in this case, 180 degrees, at one times the current, zero degrees at five times, 32 milliamps, and 180 degrees at five times.